this past Monday on Raw, we crowned a new world women's champion. I will never say that correctly. After the unfortunate injury to Rhea Ripley, it's going to cause her to be out for several months accordingly. She was forced to relinquish and a new champion was set to be crowned. It happened this past Monday on Raw in a 15 women over the top rope battle royale, which was eventually won by no other than a man, Becky Lynch, who is now a bazillion time champion. I, I don't know anymore. And while it was a cool moment, she celebrated at the end with the fans, it has left us to wonder, was Becky Lynch the right choice? Let's talk about it. So not to bury the lead, if you just want my opinion, quick, uh, quick opinion on it, maybe. That's all you came for. Like and subscribe. See you next video. But to expand on that, I do believe that potentially Becky was the right choice. But as of right now, I'm leaning towards no. Because on, 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 on the surface, you're looking at it, Becky doesn't need a title. She's already a uh, main event star, already mainstream star. And this did not much for her if a star was to be made here a wwe wanted to make a star here or at least elevate someone i think the choice should have been nia Jax, who given her size and tight and all that stuff and her demeanor a title win here would have made sense it would have uh, been the logical outcome the most obvious outcome and sometimes the most obvious is not the worst choice Nia Jax could have ran with the title, could have ran through opposition after opposition, and it could have set her up to be a setup for a Liv Morgan, who while the title win would have been cool, to me, a title win this early would have been bad. Liv still, I believe, has to fight up. The story was there with Rhea, of Liv, you know, taking out Rhea week by week until Rhea eventually gives her a title shot. Maybe Liv wins, maybe Liv doesn't. But after that, continue to antagonize Rhea until she finally beats her down at a major show and takes a title. That can be done with Nia Jax. In fact, I think that's part of what should have been. You should have had uh, build Liv up to take out Nia Jax eventually, especially closer to Rhea's return, whenever that is. And you could have done that sh uh, showdown like I suppose they were going to, except the roles reverse with Liv the champion, Rhea the challenger. Um, the way that the angle went down, it was essentially almost a double turn with Rhea now, for all intents and purposes, being a face with Liv being the heel or bad guy. But that's not what we have now. Again, Nyaka held the title, Liv could beat her up. And as soon as Liv wins the title, Rhea goes back and they run that. With Becky, I think they eventually get there eventually. I don't see Liv taking out Becky. I don't see anyone else really. I think Becky doesn't have the longest reign, maybe a month or two. And I think she drops the title to Nia. From there you go to Nia to Liv, Liv to Rhea, and them fighting. We'll see how that turns. But as far as this win, again, it was a cool moment. Becky was shown hanging out with the fans, all that stuff. And if this is a transitional reign, which if you don't know, transitional means like a couple months just to give a point to Wayne B. That cool with that. If this is a long reign, then I don't see who it benefits really. I think it just hurts everyone around the women's division. But again, we'll see. The draft is coming up as a recording of this video. So who knows if more names like a Jade Cargill or Asuka or something like that comes from SmackDown or Raw. If the, if Becky Lynch stays on Raw, who knows? They could swap titles. We don't. We're not sure. But for right now, Becky may not was probably not the right choice. We'll see though. Like I say, we won't know until we watch. Thank you for watching the video. My quick thoughts on it. I'm excited to see what they do of it. You know, Triple H has uh, earned some trust as far as building good stories and long term stories. So we'll see if they do uh, something cool out of this to build up certain people maybe becky does some open challenges with this you know give people each week a chance to shine when they normally don't get a chance to shine maybe becky does a run with an xt call up like a roxanne perez or a blair davenport or anyone lyra valcaro whoever's coming up 
in the draft. Maybe they salvage this. But for right now, in my opinion, gun to head, Nia Jax should have walked out as champion. And that's my two cents about it. But that's going to do it for this video. If you got this far, please like and subscribe. It means the world to me. I am at It's Heartfelt on all socials. But for right now, I am just heartfelt. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.